you so do, easily. You do not want to pick a heavy into Yoshi. Like maybe sure. Game and Watch might be a better idea. Game Watch is all right against Yoshi. I feel. Oh no, he's. Oh, right. he's doing it. Ooh. I'm glad. K rule. A good K rule is so entertaining. Yeah. And honestly, it's two characters with, like really janky armor going going against. Your, oh no, it's Inkling. It is Inkling. Game one, the yellow one. Versus but the black K rule. I, I can expect there's gonna be a lot of just like bursts, like trying to stay outside K rule's range. And yeah. A lot of uh, inkling just being inkling. Just completely in his face. We'll see how game one goes on Pokemon Stadium 2. Here we go. And starting off, Joe's gonna split. Like you can see Jello like really showcasing his like more defensive play style. I like that though. And you would need that against a character like Inkling. Like, why throw yourself in their face when they can just completely smother you? How do you get off ledge? Oh. Yeah, if I knew, it. I would. Try to fuck the bomb. Ooh. All right. Oh, you know, it's like you really have to kind of take into account where Inkling's going to be at all times because of how fast this character is. If you try to set up a trap, they could just kind of just walk all over you. That cannonball's still there. Okay. Oh, when it, whenever there's a cannonball, I always expect them to just fly into it at some point. Oh, oh bounces off the stage, makes Good a nice deck. tech, tries to rock crock. Yep. Honestly, that would have been such a genius Ooh, move. The down smash. Uh, try, to re try to re like an aggressive option from like burst, like a dash attack or a roller or something like that. Back for game. Ooh. Early down up smash. Ooh. Ooh. Deep. Wow, I'm not sure why yeah. burst went past ledge. But he's gonna. I'm sure he could have. He could have snapped a ledge surely, but. Quarter did 19% solid. Oh boy. I forgot how like beat, uh, how like just like raw he rule is. He's probably like he's like the second heaviest in the game, isn't he? Uh, he I think so. He's one of the absolute heaviest. Yeah. And that ooh, ooh. down tilt yep. forward smash. Down tilt is a hard berry. And you can see though, like a lot of burst is just kind of waiting, and then just forcing Jello into the corner. Like notice how he threw the earlier uh, uh, he threw the ball and read the jump ball, like by throwing out backers. And now Jello has to jump over. Jello getting his crown back. He really needs some footing here. And I oh burst is so scary, just waiting there on the ground. Line there's coming out, making use of the new frame data. And he's also doing a really good job at not being too aggressive. Jello's trying to catch a bunch of stuff that burst might do by throwing himself at him, but he's just not. He's not giving him any of that. Nice. But now, this is kind of a difficult spot for Burst, even though his ledge trapping has been pretty good so far. It's K-Roll at 183. If you're not going to roll her, like, how do you kill him? You don't. And now this is really scary. Nice match. It's a great match. Also, that handball lasts forever. Like, it does. keeps going. Oh, man. Like, K-Roll just... He is. doesn't die. His weight really shows here. Okay, maybe he does yeah, die. <laughs> and that was really smart, too, because he knew that Jello likes going low from all the way downstairs. So he just throws that splat bomb and it covers him. He that can't really is, maneuver around it. Uh, Jello's like, defensive playstyle prevents Burst from uh, being able to like, just throw out like, uh, the roller. Because like, he's just going to be able to react to it, like get hit by a projectile here. Exactly. Like, Barely any roller at all from Burst in general. I think. From like his playstyle, it kind of seems like he can only use the Oh my, okay. Interesting way to kill, although he's racked up a lot of damage in the meantime. Cover and pee. Ooh. Oh, that was dangerous. He's fine though. Hero has a very... Tries to counter the splat bomb, doesn't exactly work out. Yeah. The hitbox is a bit janky on Hero at 180 now. 197. Gotta watch out for that splat bomb. That's what took out that second stock. It's so scary. Armors the back air. Okay. Pachumkin Buster. This is still doable as long as he gets like some like big hit with this full rage. Oh, he tries to wake up with the counter. That armor looks yeah, like it was too good. Oh boy. Oh wow, that really didn't pick him up, but it wasn't big enough. And what is he gonna do? Back though. He's at 233. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Oh, the flat bomb. Barely. It honestly looked like he was trying to suck up the Yeah, I was about to say, do you think he could like, suck it up like he was DD? Imagine that. Imagine if he could do that. Oh, suck up projectiles man. with the cannon. Uh, DD is already insane with that, like, like that, like, uh, suck up and spit. Yeah, and you know, like, that's the only really issue, and I feel like it's a, just a matchup thing, is that he's getting stuck at the ledge, and offstage, that splat bomb is just covering so much. Because he throws yeah. the splat bomb low. 
he's already going low. If he goes high, then Burst could just react to that and just hit him. Like, he's creating really great situations here. And it worked out, even though he died at, like, 230, it still worked. I mean, he was at, yeah. what, 50 on that stock? The problem is, like, Jello also wasn't taking, like, stocks himself. Because, like, the only stocks he took was from, like, lucky little breaks where, like, he got, like, uh, like he got an F-tilt because for some reason Burst, like, did, like, snap to... Uh, Flesh or something like that. He wasn't really going for like hard reads or anything. He was just playing like a bit too safe per se, which I can understand versus burst. But like, you gotta make something happen. Exactly. And going to smash. <laughs> <laughs> the bomb just bounced off his belly. Okay. I guess because the bomb's got like hit something. And the belly bounces, like not person. Yeah, it's just the armor. It's just like a shield on his stomach. Getting some nice damage in the game here, but uh, can he maintain it? What? Oh, Wait. No. He is getting so happy with that. I really was not expecting the armor to break yeah. right there. Like, what? Oh, you, you don't think Inkling is, like, doing too much damage there, but, uh... Well, I do notice a lot of nares, as you can see, like that. Ooh. Not sure and about that the roller. Smash. Wow, good mash. Ooh, that, up, or that down there was a bit uh, too feisty. Yeah. It would have killed him if it landed, but, like, so will a random mass smash neutral. Exactly. And now playing from behind, it's like it's tough for Jello because even though he's not really getting oppressed at the ledge as he was in game one, and I think the you know smaller stage size helps with that, but it's like what does he do now? He has to approach. He let's actually, see off stage. Ooh, nice. He's actually playing a lot more aggressive now. He is. I think he figures that okay. I just need to get in on oh. him and hit him a few times. But full ink. That's a lot of damage being done. It is oh, that armor. This comes so clutch for him. And there you go, the you neutral think, uh, beat. Do you think that like being inked up actually like makes this so your armor takes more damage? I'm not sure. That's a really interesting thing, actually. But the roller goes for down air. Ooh. Wow, down air up smash. Yeah, sour spot up smash. And not quite the booyah percent. All right, let's see what he gets off this up throw. Just raw damage. Ooh. Oh, just catches him with the back air. That splat bomb, so scary. But he saved his jump. He was able to maneuver differently. Still gets hit by another splat bomb. He's just throwing the bombs, but I notice that Jello is starting to recover kind of from the inside of the stage to dodge all the splat bombs, which is actually really smart. That might have been why he picked this stage. But at 223, like, it's it's looking rough. How is he getting off the ledge? I like that. Now there you go. Able to time his usual get up really well. Now pressing his advantage. Oh, the forward air. He's Fairly still steady. alive. He's like never died like lower than 200%, I swear. There you go, 244. Jeez. And it really doesn't take much to take a stock as K rule. Ooh. Just for that shock because uh, there was nothing covering the front there. And also, I've never seen, like, Joe hasn't really been using like uh, K rule up air, which actually like, is decent frame down now, so it can be used as like, uh, used, used to like get that little bit of like air you get from it. Yeah, Maybe. I guess as a recovery. It's a decent mix up, and like, I've never seen Joe use a single one. Anyway, it looks like Burst is running away with this set right now. Back at the ledge, but Anair brings him... Oh, he, he's done that a few times. Oh, now he's full up. Down smash. And a set for Burst. You know what? It's like... At what point do you just kind of look at this and say, that's just the matchup? Like, what can you do? Yeah. I, I mean, honestly, like, kudos to Jell for, like, working it so well in such a trash matchup. Yeah, he was he was looking pretty good against not only a bad matchup like this. But an Ontario PR player. Exactly. Against Burst. He's one of the best. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Sure.